master, your boss, and the next knot tells you your king. Means this creation has to have a king and a sultan. And it's not Allah Allah doesn't care for creation. What he cares for is Sayyidina Muhammad And when people become arrogant, they think they're the sarkar. And what these not are reminding us and nasheeds are reminding us, no, 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 put yourself in your place that Sayyidina Muhammad is the boss, is the king, king of this entire creation. If you know that and if you've ever been involved with the kingdom, you don't raise your head above the king, not even when the king car passing. Why? Because it teaches us tashrif and respect and honour. But demonocracy taught something else, taught that you're sarkar and you're important. And as a result ignorance came into the heart of believers and they said, oh it's just me and Allah, I must be a big boss too. I said, no, you're nothing, absolutely nothing. The only one that counts in Divine the Presence Sayyidina Muhammad So then if you understood who the king is, your life was to serve him with good deeds and good actions so that in front of Allah he won't be ashamed of his nation. And that we didn't forget and that we uphold the rules of this kingdom. <coughs> And the ruler of this kingdom, it's not shaitan. He has falsely made himself as if he rules this kingdom. But its sultanat is under Sayyidina Muhammad <laughs> means that becomes the key of success in our life for akhirah. And that's why these not, they instill and keep pushing this into our heart and our subconscious reality so that one day it becomes our conscious reality, right? The, the words from big awliya like they're workers and qulams and they understood their sarkar. Why they use such a word? Why? Right? Because sarkar means when you go to work, your boss. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And everyone can relate. You have a boss at work, you have a boss at school, you have a boss at home. <laughs> the big boss. Sayyidina Muhammad You do good, he makes a du'a, you get a raise. You're not feeling good, he makes a du'a to Allah and you're granted shifa and healing. So these awliya and their kalam they're reminding as we're reciting and even from youth they're being raised with this love. Like a, a blessed water that you put upon a plant so that it becomes rushed and grows strong with what? The love of Sayyidina Muhammad and that they serve their king. And by serving their king they served Allah But Allah doesn't care for them if they're renegade against the king because that's what shaitan's teaching. Why? Because he doesn't want the Sultanate of Sayyidina Muhammad So then people came and think that they're clever and they're smart 
and they take out that reality. And only Allah they, their teaching is to keep that reality, it's the key of our success. It's the key of every wisdom and understanding that our life is a khidmat and service to this king. Our life is to raise the honourable name of Sayyidina Muhammad is tashrif. What better honour can you do in life that I came into this dirty world and Ya Rabbi as if I saw the name of Prophet not being respected to the way that my heart is telling me it has to be. And my life was to kiss that name and put upon my head. And that's your amama, this is your turban. This is the holy dome of Medina. You don't need so many clues, you're wearing it. You see the dome of Medina. That our life was to carry that dome and this is our life. No, not no one going to take it off our head and we're not serving any other king. Our service is to that reality, our khidmat is to that reality and with my life, with my wealth, with my possessions and my family is to keep raising the owner of that king. Isn't that how you get recognized in a kingdom, right? If you go into a kingdom and you glorify yourself, most likely the next day they, you, you'll be missing. Because the king thinks you're competing with him. You glorify and raise someone else, he think mm -hmm. maybe you're a renegade to him. So, means the perfect example of our existence is to honor him. And as a result, we understood what Allah wants Qul in kuntum tuhibun Allah fatabiyuni. Tell them if they wound my love they follow you. Not follow, just basic follow but they love and respect you. So how Allah respected Sayyidina Muhammad For Israhi wal Maraj teaches us manners. Right? You want to have a milad and Nabi three days a week we have a milad. Prepare for our guests the best of foods, the best of conditions, the biggest of fragrance and have a grand milad so that the other people's eyes can see how we respect and love the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad Not even comparison to what Allah when Allah wanted a meeting for Sayyidina Muhammad He sent his archangels and he sent the archangels to come to the presence of Prophet and the water in which to make wudu they brought water from paradise, washed Prophet The clothing to be presented was the khirka of paradise, they brought Close for Sayyidina Muhammad This is tashrif, Allah teaching us, look how I respect my king that I made for all of creation, my most beloved of creation. I sent for him a custom car, custom limousine we call the Burak, <laughs> right? How Allah puts all of that? sends that into the presence of all the Prophets except your Islam in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad Every nation's Prophet was present and accepted their Islam and they prayed behind Sayyidina Muhammad And that's why Allah says, the deen of Allah is Islam and that's it. All the other Prophets they entered into Islam with that salah because they gave their tashahud. They gave the shahada. And with that beautiful vehicle, Allah invites Sayyidina Muhammad on a mirage into the paradises. And every angel of every paradise was required to come out of their paradise to greet the Sultan. Describe the reality of that paradise 
and that Prophet would enter and those angels would enter behind Sayyidina Muhammad So mean this is Allah is teaching us the immensity of respect and love. And that's why it pleases Allah for those who come to this earth and uphold that love, keep that love, keep the tashrif and the respect, the admiration and then teach their families that you have to keep the love of Sayyidina Muhammad Don't let a day come in which they say that there's an Islam without Sayyidina Muhammad Means that's our key to success in this life and in the hereafter. Because a successful life in Allah's way in this life builds our hereafter. Unsuccessful, but you may think you're successful, doesn't build your akhirah. The good deeds Allah for dunya hasanat wa akhirati hasanat wa kin adhaba nar is for what? Not that you have a good dunya, do whatever you want and then you hope you have a good akhirah. But in reality that dunya of yours didn't build your akhirah. This life was to make this dunya to build our akhirah. Every good deed you do is building your palace in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and that's what only Allah come in to teach us. Don't keep these two church and state separate. Islam is all encompassing and our life is meant to build our paradise reality. And whatever Allah gives to us was for the sake of our paradise reality. And that was to uphold the way of the king, to love and honour and respect the king. And that anyone who came across us understood these are Muhammadiyoon, these are the people under the kingdom of Sayyidina Muhammad Their ish, their love, they're ambassadors of that reality. And as a result, قُلِينِ كُنْتُمْ تُهِيبُونَ اللَّهِ فَالتَّابِيُونِ They gain Allah's love upon them. And that's why they're all shaqeen by Allah Because they love whom Allah loves. And they kept the way of honor and respect to the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad in dunya. Imagine in dunya your life is that. What then you're expecting for your life in paradise is to eat at the holy table of Sayyidina Muhammad To be invited into the kingdom of Sayyidina Muhammad This is the greatest of honors that, that everybody should be wishing for in their heart and in their existence that for all of eternity Ya Rabbi let me to be in the presence of that king, to be eating at that holy table, to be in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and for all of eternity. And Allah gave us a gift of this dunya to achieve that with this ishq and with this love and with all of these actions. These not sharif they plant the seeds of that love. You recite, you recite, you recite, some years later all of a sudden the fruits of its reality are opening, a aha moment. You think it's, Ya Atif Ya Rabbi with these words because they're blossoming, they're blossoming. We pray that Allah put that love deep within our hearts and that our life is for that love and respect of Sayyidina Muhammad to uphold this immense love and ishq of Sayyidina Muhammad as we've been describing for the Holy Companions. The Holy Companions they lived and died for that love. Their ishq and muhabbat was to keep the way and uphold the way of Sayyidina Muhammad with good character, with good manners, with ishq and with love, never with harshness, never with violence and never with bad bad sound, not even the raising of the voice can be raised because the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad must be with us. Why we are praising upon that reality, giving our infinite salawats to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad then his ruhaniyat must be with us. So then we must keep the best of manners always inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa 
بصير سورة الفاتحة. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. This is Sheikh Nurjan. Thank you for watching the video that you're watching. Inshallah, if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.